Hello everyone. I am Dr. M. Kasturi, working as an assistant professor, UG Department of Computer Applications, Bishop Weber College, Tirchirapalli. In this lecture, you learn about single contiguous memory management. Memory is an important component of human being. Similarly, in computers, memory plays a vital role. Basically, there are two kinds of storage allocation techniques existing in operating system such as contiguous allocation and non-contiguous allocation. In this lecture, you learn about single contiguous memory management technique in operating system. There are two types of storage allocations existing. One is contiguous allocation, second one is non-contiguous allocation. First you will learn about contiguous storage allocation. Main memory is divided into two partitions. One portion of memory is permanently allocated to the operating system and the remaining portion of memory is allocated to the user job. A system allocates consecutive block of memory location to a file or process that is single program can occupy a single contiguous block of memory. Non-contiguous storage allocation is nothing but if a system allocates the memory space present in different locations to the process as per its requirements, then it is namely called non-contiguous storage allocation. For example, a program is divided into several blocks or segments. These blocks or segments may be placed throughout main memory which is not necessary adjacent to each other. Single contiguous memory management. Already I told you the main memory is usually divided into two portions. One portion is of allocated to the operating system. All the remaining memory is allocated to single job that has to be processed. The entered job uses some of the allocated memory, hence some portion of the allocated memory gets wasted. Operating system could not allocate some other job to this unused memory space. Here there is no special hardware requirements. A simple hardware protection mechanism is required to ensure that there is no accidental tampering of user program with operating system. The CPU contains bounce register which is helpful for holding highest address of the operating system. It is helpful to protect the operating system. Here the highest address of operating system is 31. That is why CPU bounce register is helpful to holding the highest address of the operating system. If the CPU tries to access the protection area, then an interrupt will invoke and control will transfer to the operating system. There are various advantages and limitations available in single contiguous memory management. There are few advantages, easy to understand and implement, easy, very simple allocation technique. It requires less amount of memory. But a single contiguous memory management has a large number of disadvantages such as memory is not fully utilized, poor utilization of memory, poor utilization of CPU, jaw size is limited to the size of the available main memory. These are all some disadvantages. 
there are number of advantages existing in single contiguous memory management however this management has large number of limitations in order to overcome this, these disadvantages the next memory management concept was developed which is namely called partition memory management thank you